this is by Village Radio a level 300 student of the University for Development Studies who is studying pure mathematics. Um, I've written a book titled Easy Ways for Performing Arithmetic Computations published on Amazon.com. There are some tricks in mathematics that can be used for easy computations. Then to some of the easy tricks or simple mathematics tricks. Some of them are one, if you want to multiply a double digit number by 11, how you are going to do that? If you want to square a double digit number, simple way of doing that. If you want to divide a number by 5, very simple way of doing that. Multiplying a number, numbers ranging from 6 to 9 by 9. Numbers ranging from 6 to 9, uh, 10 by 9. A very easy way of doing that. Numbers ranging from 11 to 90. Now, how to square all of that? Very simple ways of doing that. Then, in the video, we will be giving uh, a way, simple way of estimating square roots. Just like you know, uh, root 9 is 3. But what happens if we are giving the root 8? What will be the answer to that? How can you estimate? At least so that you will be close to the answer a calculator would have given. You are going to be presented simple tricks to some of these things. This will aid students to shorten the time they waste during the math school. So my aim is to help Ghanaian students get some of these tricks to be able to pass the mathematics paper. I'm going to present you about six of them. And the first one I would like us to look at is multiplying a double digit number by 11. Um, when you want to multiply a double digit number by 11, you first place the two numbers apart. Then you add the two numbers again and put the, uh, the result in the middle. So, for example, we are going to multiply. Um, 35 by 11. So 35 by 11. Sorry. 35 by 11. So as I said, first we place the two numbers apart and that will be 3 and then 5 with space in between. Secondly, we're going to add these two numbers again. So that's 3 plus 5. So we're going to get 8. So we place that 8 here. And so 35 by 11 equals 3 into 5. Also, you want to multiply 65 by 11. 65 by 11. First, as I said, you place the two numbers apart. And so we're going to have 6, then 5. Secondly, we're going to add 6 and then 5. Hope you are going to get 11. Now, realize that this 11 is more than 10. So what we are going to do is we write the ones or the unit digit in the middle. Then add the tens digit to the first digit. So we will have 7, 1, 5 as the answer. So basically, to multiply a double digit number by 11, you place the two numbers apart, add the two numbers again. If the result is less than 10, just place that answer in the middle. If it's more than 10, you place the unit digit in the middle, then carry forward the tens digit. The next thing we are going to look at is how to multiply two numbers that are numbers ranging from 6 to 10 using the fingers. I'm going to use him for demonstration. So now, let's, we have the fingers this way. Each of them, we start counting from 6. So this smallest finger is 6. 
So we count from 6 to 10, that are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On this pump, here we also have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we want to multiply 6 by 9. 6 times 9. So this is 6, as I said, and this is also 6. But we have 6, 7, 8, 9. So we are going to join this 6 to 9. So that is 6 times 9. So from these two jointed fingers downwards, we are going to count each of them as 10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we multiply the remaining fingers on the opposite palms. So we have one finger here times four fingers. So we have one times four, which is four. We add it to the 50 that we already have. So meaning nine times six is what? 54. We want to multiply eight by seven. We going to pick the eight finger. So that is six, seven, eight. Join it to the seventh one. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we have three fingers here, two fingers here, which is like three times two. Then we have six. We're going to add it to the 50 we had. So eight times seven is 56. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is how to multiply numbers ranging from 1 to 9 to 10 by 9. So we're going to use the fingers. How to use the fingers to do that very quick. So we have the fingers this way. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I want to multiply or want to multiply 3 by 9. So as I said, we have 1, 2, 3. 3. So we want to multiply 3 by 9. So we fold the third finger. So now we have two fingers on the other side of the folded finger. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, so these two there stand for the 20. So we have 20. So the remaining fingers here are what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 4. With the same explanation, we have 36. 3 times 5 times 9, we have 45. And as it goes. The next thing we are going to look at is how to multiply or to square a number. A double digit number or any number ending with five. First, you have to drop the last five. Then you multiply the remaining number by the next higher number as in counting. So for example, you want to multiply 35 or you want to square 35. You drop the last five remaining and the remaining number is going to be three. So you multiply the three by the next higher number as in counting. So Four. So multiply 3 by 4, we're going to have 12. We surface the answer by 25. So that's 1, 2, 3, 5. As I said, we have 35 squared. So we drop the last 5 and we have 3. So we multiply this 3 by the next higher number, which is 12. So we surface this 12 with a 25. And that's 1, 2, 3, 5. Um, we want to square 1, 2, 5. So we drop, sorry, it's too big. We want to multiply um, 56. We want to square um, 85 or 95. We drop the last 5, so we have 9. Now we'll multiply by the next higher number, that's 10, so we're going to have 90. So we, we suffix this 90 with a 25. So 95 squared equals to 9025. Alright, the next thing we are going to look at is how to divide um, a number, any number by 5. Um, you see, more at times it's difficult or it's tedious dividing a number by 5.
but if you want to make it easier so that you can pick in your solution, you make things fast, then to divide the number by five, you first multiply that number by two, and then finally you divide it by ten. First, you multiply the number by two, and finally divide it by ten. Why divide it by ten? Um, multiply a number by two is a little bit easier, and then multiply a number, multiplying a number by ten is also easier. Let's look at this. When you multiply, when you divide. 2, 3, 2, 3, 6 by 5. Now, so we first of all multiply this number by 2, which will give us 2, 1, 7, 4. Then we now divide this by 10, which is going to give us. Um, which is going to give us this. So this we have 47.2 as the answer. So it means that 236 divided by 5 equals 47.2. Want to divide 5, 6, 4 by 5. We will simply multiply this number by 2. So we're going to have 5, 6, 4 times 2. We have 8 here, 12, 2. 1, 10, 11. Then we now divide this number by 10. So we're going to have this 1, 1, 2.8. And so 5, 6, 4 divided by 5 equals 1, 1, 2.8. Thing we are going to look at and that's for now the last thing but not the least and we're going to look at how to square a double digit number um, to square a double digit number you first look at a number in which you add or you either add or subtract to make the number you are about to square a multiple of 10 the smallest number to either add or subtract that will make the number you are about to square a multiple of 10. So, for example, if I want to square 73 or let's say 23, I want to square 23. Now, subtracting 3 from 23 gives us 20. So, 20 minus 3 equals. Now let's also consider that we want to get a multiple of 10 of this by adding 7. We we'll have 23 plus 7, which is all, which also give us 30. They are both. This is a multiple of 10. This is also multiple of 10. Now, but looking at 3 and seven we see that three is the smallest number so we deal with this so it means that when we subtract three from 23 we are going to get 20 which is a multiple of 10 so we pick the 23 subtract three from it multiply it by 23 plus three and then add the square of that number which is the 3 to it so now we're going to have 20 times 26 plus 9 and so it's easier multiplying this 26 by 2 which will give us um 2 5 and then you suffix the answer with the 0 so plus 9 and you're going to have 5 2 9 as the answer so simply squaring 23 gives us 5, 2, 9. Similarly, we want to square um, 52. The same way, adding 8 to this 52 gives us 60. Subtracting 2 from 52 gives us 50. In, in both cases, the answers are multiple of 10, but we pick the smallest number, so we subtract 2 rather than adding 8. So we have 50, 
52 minus 2 times 52 plus 2 and then plus the 2 squared. So we're going to have 50, um, 54 plus 4. Now we multiply this by that we have 20, 0, 2, 25 plus 2, 27. Then we add this 0, then plus 4. So we're going to have 2, 7, 0, 4 as the answer. So 52 squared equals 2, 7, 0, 4. Um, so these are some of them. These are but a few of what is in the book. So as I said, the book is published on Amazon.com. 